A new CBS News poll on the presidential race is out this morning, and it shows Barack Obama leads John McCain 45% to 39 percent, the same lead that he had a month ago. With such a tight race, the gloves are off as more and more campaign ads take negative turns. Ed Rollins is a Republican strategist and a veteran of political campaigns, and he's here to talk ads with us this morning. morning. Good morning. And My that's pleasure. why we're so far apart, because we're going to watch these <laughs> ads. Let's begin with the one that started this negative tide. John McCain's ad last week comparing Barack Obama to celebrities Paris Hilton and Britney Spears. He, Obama had just come back from his overseas right. trip. Everybody was talking about him. Then suddenly this ad comes out and everybody, us, starts talking about John McCain. So even though he was being criticized, do you think this was an effective ad because it got people talking about well, McCain? Well, it, it was a very effective ad because uh, for the first time since really February, the, the equal news coverage for the week, and, and it was about this ad. Network television, cable television put this on and made it, made it work. Uh, at the end of the day, the message is that he's not ready for, for, to lead, uh, and I think that's in essence what, uh, what McCain wanted to do. Last week, the McCain camp told me they were very pleased with the ad and the response, and they must be because we're sort of seeing a part two, a new version of this, which just came out, and I'd like to show it for those of you who haven't seen it. So let's take a look. Is the biggest celebrity in the world ready to help your family? The real Obama promises higher taxes, more government spending, so fewer jobs. Renewable energy to transform our economy? create jobs and energy independence? That's John McCain. So still a jab about the celebrity, but much more on message, Ed. It's definitely on message, and the message, obviously, are the things that, uh, that are the negatives. But I think the key, the key thing here is, is it's, it's building on the celebrity. Uh, this is a guy who basically four years ago nobody knew who he was. Now they do. He's very famous, but there's no substance, and I think that's, that's their message. And also when they say things like he's going to raise your taxes, which they focused on much more Absolutely. in this ad than the first one, that's, that's the message you want to drive. I mean, it's, uh, this is an ad that will work in August. It may not work in October, but the message of raising taxes will definitely work in October, and I think you're going to keep, keep hearing that over and over and over again. All right. So. Barack Obama says that he, John McCain is taking the low road. He's supposed to be a straight talker who doesn't resort to this sort of thing, but he has, and he said as much in this ad. Let's take a look at it. He's practicing the politics of the past. John McCain. His attacks on Barack Obama, not true. False. Baloney. The low road. Baseless. John McCain, same old politics, same failed policies. Barack Obama supports a $1,000 middle-class tax cut, an energy plan that takes on oil companies, develops alternative fuels, and breaks the grip of foreign oil. That's changed. What do you think? Well, he's responding to McCain. Uh, the truth of the matter is you want to run your own campaign, you don't want to respond in the opposition. That's the, the basic rule. But I think he thinks that the ads must have been effective enough that he's out there basically responding already. Once again, this is August. Uh, so what goes on in September, October may be a totally different game. Do you don't think that, that Barack Obama pointing out John McCain's weaknesses in his view is a good strategy? Well, it's, it's a good strategy in the sense if he, can make, if he can make McCain a grumpy old man as opposed to a significant commander-in-chief, uh, he's done his job. And I think that's what he wants to do. Uh, it, he's, the, he's the more likable candidate uh, by an overwhelming margin. And in the end, these undecided voters often vote for the person they like the most. I want to ask you about Hillary Clinton real quick, because we're hearing this morning that she is not ruling out placing her name for nomination at the convention. I think that'd be a foolish mistake on her part. I think she's had a tremendous campaign. I think she's uh, only enhanced herself, even though she didn't win. I think if she plays any kind of havoc, and it would create havoc in a convention, uh, it'll be a detriment to her. She can't do that. I would hope that she wouldn't, uh, for her sake. All right. Thank you My very pleasure. much, Ed Thank Rollins. You. Appreciate Wonderful your time. You. And if you have a video response to any of these ads, send them to our website. It's earlyshow.cbsnews.com. And we'll air the best ones.